Coming up, I'm gonna show you just how I made this handbag for my daughter, so stick around. Hey, it's the OCD Hunter, bringing you tips, tricks, DIY hacks, and other useful ways that my OCD can make your life a little bit more simpler. My daughter saw this leather handbag online and asked if I could make it. I'm still really new to leather working, but I told her I'd give it a shot. So in this video, I'll show you what my approach was in recreating this handbag with only the few photos to go by. The first thing I did was to come up with a model so I can make a pattern. I didn't worry about the size. All I wanted to do at this point was to come up with how to put it together. Once made, I can now undo and use it as a source for my pattern. My daughter and I came up with some basic measurements she wanted for height, length, and width. And from those measurements, along with using the model, I was able to figure out the rest of the measurements, including where the clasped hardware, rivets, and stitch lines needed to go. Now that I had the measurements and a mini pattern, I then took some poster board and made a full size pattern and cut it out. When making my patterns, I like to fold the paper in half and use this as the center line. That way, when I cut out the pattern, it is symmetrical on both sides. Once the basic pattern was cut out, I folded it into the purse just to make sure that everything worked. I then traced the pattern on some five ounce veg tan leather and cut it out. I used a beveler to bevel both sides and then applied tan coat on the flesh side of the leather. Then I added my maker's mark to the back lower right corner by slightly wetting the leather and allowing it to soak in. She wanted the purse to be a natural color, so I didn't use any stain. I just added three coats of leather balm with atom wax to seal the exterior and then buffed it out. After it dried, I burnished all the edges of the leather with beeswax I got from a friend of mine who has his own honeybees. I then added the magnet clasp to the base of the purse and cut a square of leather out and scathed the sides and glued it to the back side of the clasp and then sealed the edges with tan coat. I glued the outer edges of the inner pocket onto the main flap and clamped it down to set. Then I glued the two straps to the sides of the purse. These are where the shoulder straps will connect. Once everything was dried, I used my prick irons to create my stitch holes in both straps and pocket and saddle stitched these with wax thread to the bag. I punched holes in the bottom of the handbag and through the flaps and riveted them together. Then punched holes in the front flaps and riveted them together as well. Finally, I punched holes in the straps and added eyelets for the handbag carry strap to attach to. I figured out where the magnet clasp needed to go on the flap and then attached it to a piece of leather and glued it down to the flap. Then I made my stitch holes and sewed with wax thread with a saddle stitch reinforcing the end stitches. I then tied a barrel knot in the end of some cream color paracord. Then I measured the length and added an overhand knot in the middle of the strap. Finally, I ended the other side with another barrel knot to finish off the project. So there you have it, my process and how I went about building it. I'm the OCD Hunter, and I hope that my continual painstaking practice of changing, fixing, and improving on ideas will help you out in your endeavors. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Comments are always welcome.